Okay, thanks everybody for watching this video. Uh, I got one quick thing, a little hack I figured out that I wanted to show you all. We've all seen we like DIY uh, lamp projects and cool little, you know, do-it-yourself little lamps with the new Edison style bulbs. And I noticed they had some videos where they took a water faucet and they have a water faucet like this here and they turned this into the light switch and I thought that was really cool. And I watched a bunch of different uh, YouTube videos and you know how the how to make them and you needed drill presses and all kinds of heavy-duty equipment and special tools and it was just you know wasn't something I was gonna do and I ended up finding out a really easy way to go about this uh, go down to Home Depot you can get all this stuff relatively cheap the uh, you get a normal little half-inch uh, water faucet make sure you get the style if you look in here that has the gate that opens and closes uh, there's a different style that you'll see that has more of a plunger like this right here and the plunger comes up uh, do not get the plunger style it won't work for this uh, you want the gate that opens and closes so Take your pipe wrench, go on here, I've already loosened this one up a little bit. You pop this loose, you put the pipe wrench on right here, thread this off. This here will be loose, Just spin it all the way off, that's the actual gate. And so you're left here uh, with just the shaft going through. And now what you do, this right here coincidentally uh, loosely threads into a three quarter inch thread. It'll snug up, it'll get pretty good. Uh, I use JB Weld to make sure it stays in there in the long run, and I'll show you that here in just a second. And I just went and got a really simple JB brass rotary style uh, right here. The only problem I had is that using this threads into the three quarter, this I can't get it to fit up into a three quarter inch T. So what I found is if you use a one inch T and just use a three quarter inch adapter on it, saves all the problem and gives you a little bit of extra wire, uh, room for wire. Now, they had all kinds of stuff where they were sitting there and they were hooking these straight to each other. Uh, I found what works really easily is if you just get a little bit of surgical tubing. Um, this right here seems to work perfect. Uh, it's 3 8 ID quarter inch or excuse me quarter inch ID 3 8 OD uh, Pretty easy you can find this also at Home Depot piece of cake comes a big roll cost a buck or two uh, But if you just sit there and you put this it fits nice and tight right over the top of that Thread that in there Fit this through. Uh, make this about an inch, and you can play with it a couple times, see what works best. And you want to get it up in there, and you can see. There's the brass fitting, it's pretty snug all the way around. I might have even pushed on there just a little too far. Yep. Mental note, put it on this side first. This is the tighter end. So we put it on there. Get that on there a little ways. And now it easily will rotate the switch for you. And then just take your wires, feed them inside. Only really fancy tool you end up needing is a uh, pipe wrench. Okay. 
And now if you look up inside right here, and there you go. And then what I do for the threads here is I'll just take a little bit of JB Weld. Make sure you use equal parts of the JB Weld. I like to use, uh, make sure you get it. Uh, read the boxes, there's two different kinds. Uh, make sure you get the stuff that's the, the fast, the quick setting. Um, some of the stuff that's the quick setting, it'll set in, uh, oh, what was it, it was just a couple minutes. Uh, sets up in six minutes. The other stuff sets up in a few hours. So this stuff's a lot more user friendly if you're trying to just mosey on through on your project. Uh, the other thing that I typically like to do is I will put just a little bit inside here um, because I want it to because this isn't the tightest fit in the world on here and so it just kind of helps make sure that that's not going to slip off on you down the road. Just that added little, little bit of extra, just in case. And then uh, you just take a little bit of this. Like I said, usually you make sure uh, put down. If you're working on a nice table or something you don't want to get permanent JB weld on. Make sure you down put down some paper or cloth or something or a piece of construction board that that way if you do get it on it. You're not going to care. And if you get it all over the pipe or around, don't worry too much. As soon as you get it in place, um, it's reasonably easy to to clean off. Uh, it's not going to be the end of the world if you you get a little bit on there. And like I say, you don't need to make very much. I've actually made as usual more than I I needed and then all you're gonna do now that you have that on there and you'll just feel it get firm and that's it and now we're just gonna let it set um, what I'll usually do is I'll actually set it upside down so the weights pushing down on the uh, pushing down on it and then anything that's going to drip is going to drip this way where I can easily clean it, not drip down onto my switch or anything like that. And that's it. Now all of a sudden uh, we've made a, a water faucet and we've turned it into a light switch. And I'll, uh, in the next video you'll see the light we actually make this in and you'll, uh, you'll see how it works. Uh, hope you found that helpful. Uh, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.